Fisherman Renault Stevens had just pulled into the Viewfort port at dusk on Monday where his vessel was moored upon the return from an arduous journey out at sea. He was looking forward to some rest and relaxation, but he had no idea the ordeal that lay ahead with two masked gunmen lurking near the fisheries pond. After painstakingly cleaning and selling his catch of the day, the stealthy stalkers brandished in firearms would emerge from the backdrop of fading light and swoop in on their unsuspecting prey with no mercy. I was in the pond and he was out on the sea fishing. When he returned, he sold his fish and he was there talking to the fellas by Taz. And two, two mass men come and put place a gun behind his head and shot him. It passed behind his neck and it passed through his temple and the shot went out. Stevens was spirited away via private vehicle to hospital for treatment. The father of the shooting victim who declined to appear on camera for fear of reprisal and the threat to his personal safety is perplexed by the motive behind the violent attack. He is beseeching the authorities to do something about gun crime. But I hope the, the police and the government investigates about them shooting happening in Viewfort because they have to stop them gun-related crimes. Yeah, because that's very bad in St. Lucia, especially in Viewfort. Reno Stevens, who is believed to be about 19 or 20 years old, is now laid up in the hospital bed at St. Jude with his neck scarred from the bullets that perforated his neck and upper torso. He is in a stable condition. I think he'll make it by the grace of God. Already plagued by chronic violent crime, St. Lucia has experienced a marked increase in gun violence with homicide rates in alarming record territory since 2017. Authorities have been devoting more resources to the crime fighting and allocating finances towards beefed up national security in hopes of reducing the scourge. Joachim Duplessis, HTS News Force.